Hello guys, my name is Effex and welcome back to Observer. In the last episode we had, and I feel like my introduction is the same in this game. We tripped balls again is what happened. So, things are starting to unravel. A lot of this doesn't really make sense, but I'm sure it'll all come full circle in the end and explain stuff. Touch wood, probably not. It's probably going to leave you to figure out your own ending. Um, so yeah, in the last episode we woke up in some guy's apartment after we apparently scanned everything. There was probably certain things that I missed, but I, I left anyway to see what else happened. Uh, and then we ended up again in some sort of virtual reality type thing. Our mind is playing tricks on us right now. Uh, and it was some sort of like virtual reality forest area with a bicycal. Um, but it turns out we were in like a server room or something. So anyway, we got out of that. And that is where we're up to right now. I think there's only about an hour and a half left of the game. So probably two more or three more parts, including this one. Um, so yeah, that being said, sit back, relax, and let's get started. So this is the room in the question thing where we... Is that not blood? That is blood. And we've scanned it again. No, we've not scanned it again. That's from the other guy in the apartment, right? Okay, that's why we don't have to scan it again. Hi, what are you? I know you're green, but okay, never mind. Right, so this is the server room thing in question eight that we kind of came out of when we were in the forest thing because we had to unplug those like three or four uh, battery things. So now, hopefully, I hope that was my footstep, we can get out of this room and see what the bloody hell happens next. Hello? Right, are we just, are we still following the blood trail? Are we, is that what we need to do? Let's have a look at what we need to do. I don't think we have to go to an apartment, is there? Do we, or what? Track down the killer. The killer was wounded in the struggle. He's leaving the trail. If I follow it, I might be able to finally get the bastard. I don't know if that was the same one that I read at the end of the last episode, but I read it again, just for shits and gigs. I'm so, right oops. Yeah, buddy. Right, so we have another case log that's been updated. I managed to find a way out of the killer's holographic trap. Oh! He said, right, okay, awesome, right, so I told you it's all coming together. Now it's time to nail the bastard. The trail leads up into the attic. Right, so, awesome. I can't help but think that this game's got some sort of sneaky suspicion that makes you maybe question if it's you or not that is doing... I don't know how that's going to all work out in the end of it, but... No thanks. Uh... No thanks, I'd appreciate it if that never came towards me ever again. Um, I don't know if, like, this could potentially be, like, us that's doing this or something. Like, we're the killer. Again, I don't know how that would play into the, the story or whatever or how that would make sense come the end of the game. But, I mean, it's a psychological kind of thriller game, innit? So, I'm sure it'll make sense somehow. Are we supposed to be scanning stuff here or what? Because I've not really been doing that. All I've been doing is looking for the blood. Right. So, for the sake of arguments and the sake of an episode that actually gets stuff done, we're just going to keep going in an orderly fashion, checking out the blood. That's a piece of blood. A piece of blood! That's a blood of blood! Bloody hell. <laughs> I hate birds! Birds can go and suck eggs, man. Oh, jeez. That was... Whew, that was interesting. Right, so there's a hatch on the floor. Is there anything else that we can do? Or what? I don't think so. Right, stop going backwards and just get shit done. Open, says a bob. Super play. Oh, shit the bed. Bloody hell. All right, it's not us then, is it? <laughs> That's a great way to start your episode off. I've almost had two heart attacks and now I'm picking my ass up off the floor. What the hell are you, anyway? Time to get some answers. Hi. Setting up a crime scene. Okie dokie. The hell with it. Okay, alright, we've got another case log that's been updated. Finally came face to face with the killer. Barely survived, he didn't. I should examine the body for clues. Right, let's have a look at what you can give me, if anything. Hello, sir. Scan those little scratch marks. I wonder if there's anything left of him. Stab wound. Consistent with a good doctor's cane. Ah, okay. Right. So the good doctor is the guy in the apartment, alright? Let's have a little snoop around and see if we can find anything else. So, I think we've... Oh, hello. Exposed wiring. The one thing you don't want breaking your fall. We have 
forests killed hydraulic joints. Victims never had a chance. His claws match the cuts on the victims. This is definitely our man. Lucky me. The neural implants still functional. Mostly. Oh, we can connect to him. Are we entirely sure we want to do that? Just looking at past events in this game. Do we really? No, I don't want to do that yet. I'm not going to do that yet. Again, we're going to have a look and see if we can find all the clues. And then we're going to see what bloody lurks inside that bastard's head. Okay, so there's an elevator thing over here. But I don't want to do that because I, I do actually intend to get inside his head. I just need to uh, see if we can investigate more, right? Unless that's gone. Has that gone? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, oh, it has. Has it? Okay, the killer's neural implant is still functional. Mostly, I'm not looking forward to getting into his head, but it's my best shot at getting some answers. All right, well, we'll do that then, since we've scouted all the area. Why the bloody hell not? God knows why you fucking kill people. But I want my fucking son back. All right, I've got a pound that says if all the others were really bad, this is going to be absolutely mental. Okay, we're in some dank alley or something, I guess. And I'm pretty certain I saw a computer monitor there as well. So we're probably going to end up in the apartment or something. I don't know. Oh, bloody hell. All right, love. You douche. Give an old guy a heart attack here, you prick. Right, all right. So I never know what the hell I'm looking for. But I imagine it's got something to do with that. Once upon a time, there lived in a certain village a little country girl, the prettiest creature who was ever seen. Okay. That's nice. That's not... Uh, hi. I'm new to class. Can you tell me where my desk is? Do I need to go that way or this way? I don't know. Oops. Okay, we don't go that way. Don't stop staring at me, man. I know I know I'm the clown idiot, but oh. Okay, that's not freaky in the slightest. I'm not gonna lie. This is one of those games where I'll be really happy I finish it because I've started it now. That's where the tattoo parlor used to be, right? I think. Is this the same courtyard? I think it is. It looks like it. Uh, I've started it now. There's a bit. There's a bit. There's a deer over there. I nearly said Bambi and then did. Never mind. Right, moving on. <laughs> ah! Hello. Hi. Where's the little cute little deer gone? Hi. I have a pound that says that takes me somewhere I shouldn't be going. What's this? It's got a key. Oh. Isn't he just the cutest thing? Mommy! Mommy! We're a baby now, right? Oh, hello. Uh. Okay. Something's oh. not right. Just look at me. What do you mean, just look at me? No, what for done? So, can we hide in there? What is that? Okay, the clothes. <laughs> I thought they were skeletons or something. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to go out then, Dave. I hope you don't mind. Okay. So, we're a kid. Or more precisely, we're him as a little kid. And our dad seems to have been... Oh, we're locked in. Of course we are. Claustrophobic, anyone? A bit of a knob to me. Uh, either that or it might have been my stepdad. I don't know. I'm just putting two and two together. I'm making six, but we're going to see what happens. Hi. Victor. Victor. He had cut only a few strokes when he saw the red cap shining through. He cut a little more, and the girl jumped out and cried. Oh, I was so frightened. It was so dark inside. Mommy, why did the wolf have to die? 
not got a clue. That went that way, but this is telling me to go that way. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. I don't... I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that, should I? Should I have done that? I don't know. That happened anyway. All right, never mind. Moving on. I thought it was going to be... Oh, shit the bed. I thought it was going to be a trick. That's why I went left, but... The trick is, I don't know if I should have done that or if I should have done that. I don't know. Uh, I... Yeah. What's wrong with his leg? Right, this time we are going to go left. I knew I shouldn't have gone that way. I knew I shouldn't have gone that way. Okay, Dad. If it was my dad. What a little freak! Wow. All right. Okay. So clearly, there were some knobs in my life growing up. That's a ball going down the stairs. Bit of a cliche, but I'll let you off. I preferred it with the milk bottle. Oh. Where are we going? Are we just going up? I think we are. These are all going to be locked. Yeah, all right. I'm not even going to attempt to go through that one. If a guy smacks a door in your face, or a woman, don't go in. <laughs> they don't want to know. Milk bottles. Is that... Hey, watch your fucking step. Hey, get it. Fucking all right. freak. All right. Get out of okay. here. All right, man. Someone's off my Christmas card list, you punts. Don't knock that over. Don't knock that over. Get in here. Victor, dinner is ready. Hi, mother. Yes. No. You're on the right path. We're almost done. See, I don't know, man. I want to go and check that out, but I want to go next to Bambi. Go on this way. I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably shouldn't have done that. There. Can we go back in here now? No. I don't know if this game's got multiple endings or whatever. But apparently we're almost there. And I kind of feel that this deer is showing me the correct way. Maybe like it's a glitch in the system or something. But then I don't know if we're going to miss things if we don't no. go in here. Alright. Come, Victor. Dinner is ready. Okay, Mama. Like it. Please, you need to eat. Come on, eat. 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 <laughs> um, I think I've said it before countless times, but I'll say it again. I'm not a fan of this, just FYI. I mean, it's very well made. But that doesn't mean I have to like it, does it? I want to go in there. I don't think we can go in there. I don't want to go in there. I want to follow this little deer thing. And I want to go to the right rather than going straight down. Right? But that's the tattoo sh I don't... Bambi! Which way am I supposed to be going? Because I've... Your prey's getting away. I feel like I'm going to miss out on so much. <laughs> what the hell was that then? Okay, we can't go back. We can't do anything. I should have followed the deer. Always follow the deer. Okay? That'll save you a whole lot of heartache. Bloody hell.
<laughs> Jesus, this is hopeless. When the moon is full, the beast the awakens. All right, that's not gonna get old, is it? Get a sprint on. The sooner I get this section completed, the better for my underpants. <laughs> Where's it gone? Where's it gone now? Is it gone to the left? I think it went to the left. We're gonna go to the left. Hi. There. Now's your chance. Hurry. What do you mean, now's my chance? Now's my chance to do what? Die! No thanks! So confused. I know he had a shoddy upbringing, but what the hell has it got to do with a big bloody sun and shit? First thing in the morning. And risk partial to complete paralysis? Great idea, Dad. God damn it. And you did that? Why? Just to spite me? Is that us? I told you to stay out of the stacks. I'm better off there than I am. Stop yelling. You're only making it worse. I'm making it worse? Look at him! It's grotesque! It's disgusting! This freak of nature is not my son! Victor, please. Your father didn't mean it. We're just worried about you, that's all. Are we in a play now, are we? Hi. Hello? Once upon a time, there lived in a certain forest a brave little wolf, the fiercest creature who was ever seen. <laughs> Not laughing now, eh, you bastards? Shh, it's okay, Victor. Please calm down. What do we need to do? Talk to him, Victor. I know there is still hope. There comes a point where you don't have any words anymore. Do you know what I mean? You just need to let the game play out and observe it for yourself. No, you get it? Like no. Right. <laughs> Stop laughing Jeez, at me. This is hopeless. You're all no bad. All right, maybe we go backwards then. Okay, maybe we don't. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> We're in for another show. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Just give up already. No, all right, we don't go that way. Oh, don't know what happened then, but never mind. We teleported. Look at him. Congratulations. We're past the first phase of the treatment. It looks promising. 
Your body is responding well to the genetic material. S thank you, Doctor. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Oh, that's all right. You'll thank me in a couple of weeks when the shift starts to occur. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the results. Okay, so again, that was the doctor in the apartment that we searched for who is now dead, who was killed by Victor, whose mind we are currently in right now. So you see, while it is technically inoperable, this procedure can practically nullify the symptoms. I'm not going to lie, the treatment is invasive. But it is by far the best oh. option. Oh, thank you, Doctor. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Did you hear that, Dan? It should have been you. Okay, so that was definitely me. And the wife, I guess. And that was our kid. Because the wife died, didn't she? Of an illness. Probably like cancer or something. I can't remember what the exact what what the exact illness was. Uh, so that was obviously her getting some sort of decent news. We can't go that way. But then I don't think it. Well, it obviously didn't work. Um, and then obviously Adam, our son, said that to us. So our relationship isn't the best. But I think we knew that from day one. Uh, so yeah. I think we're still on Victor, or are we, are, we, are we playing as us now inside Victor's head? And shit's gonna get real for us right now. I don't know, but is that, is that a camera? I think that's a camera, isn't it? Oh, I don't have to do stealth again, do I? Let's get going and see what happens. I don't know why I'm running towards next event, as if I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen next. Oh, there's a building in the distance. That's cute. Oh, it's the tattoo shop. All right. Hi. The people at Chiron, you're making a big mistake. They only care about their bottom line. They don't give a shit about you. Dad, I know what I'm doing. What if you're wrong? Well, what if I'm right? It's something I need to do. Once in your life, can't you just admit that you're wrong? Okay, I thought that might have been coming from this building instead, but I don't think it is. So, do I need to do anything with you? Uh, for flashlight, doesn't work. Uh, son, can you tell daddy what he has to do, lad? Because he's a bit stumped right now. Unless we just go out and go around. It's a good shout. It's a good shout. Well done, Paolo. Thanks. Is that the deer? That is the deer. Get going. Get going. Don't leave me, deer. Oh, I think it went to the right. Right? Right, right. I'm going to the right. Shit. Should have gone to the left. Should have gone to the left. Should have gone to the left. Help. Oh! Bloody hell, that scared the crap out of me. My ass is definitely not coming off the ground now. So what the hell do we need to do then? Go to the left. He's there again, isn't he? Do we go that way or do we, are we supposed to go that way? Okay, so he's blocking that way. So what's this way? Oh. Okay. That's what's that way. We don't go that way then, do we? Okay, awesome. So at least we know we're going to the right now, he says. Unconfidently is all bloody hell. Oh, hello. Hello. I knew he was around here somewhere. I just didn't really know where exactly he was. Can we stay in the bush? Can we stay in the bushes? I don't know if it spotted me, but go. Run. Run. He's chasing me. He's chasing me. Run, 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 run. Bloody hell. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. Oh, we're at the apartment hey. complex again, right? 
Hi! How's it going, dude? You're looking good. Not gonna lie, you look better when you're that big. You should totally stay on that bulky diet of yours. Not going in there, he can go and suck an egg. Um you don't. He finds you. He always gets his prey. Okay, that's He's nice. He's always out there, watching, waiting. I'm right on your day. That was us, right? This is where we were in the previous episodes, right? And then there was a button here. Oh, you know, we can just do that. That's fine. Whatever, you know. Tomato, tomato. Oh, I get it. Now we're playing as Victor again. And this is where we go behind us as Dan. And then we fall down, right? That makes sense. It makes sense in my head. I don't know if it's right. There you go! For the love of God, man, take some synchrosine. Okay, then. Well, at least we know what we're doing at the start of episode six, seven, the next part. And on that note, guys, I am going to leave that on there. So that is, that was, that was very interesting. That was out of all of the trips that we've had in this game. That was the worst one. But I kind of knew that going in because of Victor and, and what he's already done in his life or more specifically towards the end, killing all those people. And he even killed the deer, the bastard. He deserves to die. Um, so... Yes, we are back in the real world in this server room thing or whatever in the basement. It looks like down the hole when we, we got pushed off by Victor before we died. Um, so now I think what we need to do is turn around and go into the elevator shaft area thing. Um, and again, just see kind of where it takes us. I think, as I said at the beginning of this episode, we've not got far left in the game. I think there was about an hour and a half, an hour and 15 or so. We've done half an hour already, so there might only be one more episode left. Two at the most. So, that being said, thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye, yo! -bye,